Hello my lovelies. This is the sum total of my crafting for the last 24 hours. Last night while I was watching a movie, I was fussy cutting. This morning I finished off the fussy cutting and now I need to ink it so that all of these little white spots in between leaves, like this one, all this white I need gone. I need it to look something similar to this with a lovely green behind it so that it doesn't stand out like like crazy. So that's what I'm going to do for a few minutes with you anyway. Let me have a look. If I spend 15 minutes with you doing this, I reckon that's boring enough for you, don't you? I've got my little bit of scratch paper here. So let's get into it and I'll do this one first, I think. We'll get a lovely iced spruce. That's the colour I used on the... The other little flower. So I'm not going to pad this off for now because I need that green in that intense green. I'm just going to move this over a little or some of them over a little bit so that I can work on my mat. That is going to be a lot easier than trying to pick it up in my fingers and do it that way. So once I get this background done, I can then go and do the edges. Oh, here I was trying to get that out of the way. Silly me. Okay. So to pick this up is by far the easy way to do it because you can bring your brush from the outside to the inside it takes away the, the cut edges. I've put all of these onto double-sided sticky tape or sticky paper, commonly called jack paper. My stockist had run out and I looked on Timu thinking I might get a bargain, but no, they're double the price of what I can get from my normal stockist. So. I'm going to have to wait for them to put in an order and go in and pick some up later. Double-sided paper, that being. I'm using the Minte cuttables and they're not pre-stickied, so I need the double-sided tape to put them on. And I need a larger size. I don't need, you know, the normal stuff that's only this thick. It just doesn't make it for something like this. I prefer to use A4 sheets so that I can get a lot on at the one time and then just cut them into portions. I still have half a dozen of these Minte floral cuttables and uh, I really would like to get them into my usable stash without having to fuss and fight them on videos. sometimes it can get a little just boring watching somebody fussy cut and then do this but I thought this is part of the process and I've got rid of the hard stuff now all this cutting was starting to hurt my fingers I've got to tell you little scissors and uh, little fine work like this play havoc sometimes with older hands and I'm not saying that I'm ancient I'm just getting older And sometimes the older we get, the less able we are to do things, as I'm discovering. You know, many, many years ago, I laughed at a lady. She said, oh, I can't do what I used to do. And I said, yeah, come off it. I said, you'll always be able to do things. Oh, you wait, your turn will come. And I, I scoffed. And, you know, I deeply regret scoffing at that lady now because what she said was very true. You know, no longer can I play basketball or netball or, you know, run around a, an oval doing calisthenics or, or gymnastics or anything like that. I just can't do it. So I have to face the, the not the fear, but the um, reality that, you know, once you get into those golden years, and I'm not quite there yet, 
but you know the, the body is starting to to let me down it's okay it's all part and parcel of the mystery of life and the joy of being able to wake up every morning and say hey lord i'm here I was only saying to somebody the other day that I'm going to be one of these ladies who's going to play up Mary Heck in, you know, the old aged homes, the retirement villages or whatever. And when I do pass, I hope to go sliding into heaven saying, hey, God, I'm here. Find me a room. And I want to be one that they keep saying, I wonder what she's up to now. I wonder what she's up to now. Full of mischief. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me get those a little bit greener, if I can, along here. They don't want to green up for me. Oh dear. Oh, that's better, a little bit of pouncing rather than rubbing. Okay. around there as well all right I'm a bit happy with that that does look a lot nicer with that green in there rather than the white and I think I'll do this one now where can I put these oh I've got a pile of them over here that I've already done so I can put that over there okay let's keep using this lovely green and I can literally just go around and around and around over the red because it's so vibrant it's going to stand out anyway these are beautiful papers and they are very strong cardstock i'll um, show you the package I've got it sitting here. They were four, four to five pads worth. I can't remember how many I bought. Oh, come on. See, that's in there. Minte Papers, Flora Book Number Three. This is the Fall and Winter Edition. But I've got the other editions as well, the, the roses, the, the greenery, all the leaves that came together in one, one paper pad like that. They're just stunning, but they are very, very strong cardstock, so you're not going to um, be able to hurt them just by cutting them apart. That has dulled the red down a little, but I'm not overly worried about that. They are just absolutely gorgeous. There's all sorts of flowers. There's the, the purples, the pinks, the blues, the whites, yellows. You name it, just about every color there is in the rainbow is in these packs. And then, as I said, you've got a whole pack dedicated to leaves and greenery and, and autumn leaves and things like that. It's just stunning. It was well worth the dollars I spent on it and the amount of things that I've had and I've shared with other people as well. Because you get, I think it's two or three of each one. Let me just check that. Um, 24, oh, it's four by six designs. So there's six designs in here, but four sheets of each. So I've shared it with um, a couple of other people as well. Not that I don't think I would have used them. But you can get a little bit bored using the same thing time and time again, can't you? Okay, that's another one done. Now I think I'm going to do this one in, in the brown walnut stain. Oops. Get as much green off as I can. This is only a tiny little piece of paper, but it's going to make an absolutely stunning 
card or something or other when I'm done all this colouring. You can see by the cut edges how that um, the white is going to show through if I don't do something with the edges. They're not going to look as pretty as they could. I've got my evening vegetables cooking, my dinner veggies. And I'm having um, chili, chili coated chicken strips to go with the veggies. Haven't had them before, so I hope that the chili is not too strong. I don't want to burn my tummy, burn my mouth. Well, that one looks pretty good the way it is. I'm happy with that. Uh, where's another brownish coloured one? Lovely Monsteria Lee, Mon Monsteria. Yeah. Don't normally see them brown, but I'm not saying that's not something that isn't real because I haven't seen all the plants in the world. Just go over the little white pieces in the middle just to dull them down a little. Lovely. There's another brown one there, that's good. And while I've got the brown out, I might as well use it, hey. This is going to be a little time consuming, this little trick, but it's going to be well worth it. Because I'm going to have all these lovely cutouts that I can use immediately. Instead of having to sit there and interrupt the process by having to fussy cut. That's nice, I like that one too. Where's that other brown one? There it is. Please don't ask me what sort of leaf this is, I have got no idea. I just know it's very pretty. I would be absolutely lost without this little Lavinia brush. It's uh, number three. It's a perfect size for doing these little fine edges. It's also giving me a decent handle to hold on to rather than trying doing it with um, daubers and sponges. Right. There's another one. This is it's time consuming, but it's relaxing at the same time, if that makes any sense. It's just uh, something you can do when you've got a few minutes to spare. Uh, do I have anything else? I even cut the, the front pages from the pad that I've used all of it up. I cut those pieces because I thought they would go really, really well as fodder for journals. They'd look very pretty, just sort of resting on the side of a page. I don't know. No, I don't know whether to colour them or not, so I'm going to leave those for now. But let me have a look here. Oh no, can't use that in brown. Have I got anything else that I could do brown on? Could do. I think I'd rather use another colour for the reds now. Now, 
I've still got a few minutes left. I've set myself a little time limit today because I know this could get a little bit time consuming and I also know that you don't want to sit here for half an hour watching me just edge things. Now this is aged mahogany. It's a beautiful rich colour and it goes perfectly with the red even though it's in the browner range believe it or not. Mahogany being a beautiful tree. I'm not sure where it's native to. I think it might be United States, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But it is beautiful. Even though it's a, a timber colour, it goes really, really well with the reds. Now I'm going to pick up another red while I've got this out. sweet little flower this one isn't it we're a little space filler this one and done now I'm only, I know I'm only doing part of these but there is method in my madness and I'm sure you know what it is use this color while it's out and then come back and do the greens which I'm going to do now because my time is, is up. But I would like to get at least one of these red ones completed so that you can see the total difference. And I think I'll bring out the iced spruce again because that's such a perfect color of green. Oh, that was good. Put it down, ink up, or ink down, sorry. There's still a little red in that brush from the mahogany, but it will still work, I think. Because the idea is just to camouflage that background a little bit. Beautiful. Even though the, the red is blending in with this, it's still looking very, very nice. You can just see the colour of the red coming through a little bit here and down on the, the lower stem, but I still think it looks pretty. All right, as I'm getting close to the end of this, I'd like to thank you very much for coming along and, and visiting with me today. It's always lovely to have your company. 
and I love to read comments, so please leave one. I will answer you, even if it's just a little red heart to say, hey, I've, I've, I've read your comment and I thank you. Because I've been missing your comments because I haven't been asking for them. You're not giving them to me, so please leave a comment. There we go. Okay, I'm going to love and leave you with that. I think, as I said, I thank you once again for coming to visit. I will catch up with you in the next video. Bye-bye for now, lovelies.